My name is Ashley Cagle. I'm a project manager in Spokane, Washington, and today I'm going to be talking about the design of wood over concrete podium structures, in particular focusing on five stories of wood over a post-tension concrete slab. I'll start with a quick outline so you know where we're going today. We'll start with some background information about building occupancies and construction types and the allowable uh, heights for each of those and then the code sections that allow us to, to design these podium structures. Then we'll start in on the wood structure by talking about fire retardant treatment. We'll take our break and questions, and then afterwards we'll pick up again with more on the wood structure, exterior wall detailing, gravity and lateral concerns, another break, and then finally we'll wrap up with the concrete structure itself, talking about post-tensioning considerations, fire rating requirements, and anchorage of the wood structure to the concrete. And then we'll have some time for questions at the end. So what is a podium structure? What are we talking about here? Uh, generally, we're looking at three, four, or five stories of wood over a one or two story concrete, concrete level. Um, the wood is usually apartments, condos, dorms, sometimes office buildings. The concrete is usually parking or commercial, retail, office space, uh, spaces where you want a little more flexibility with your floor plan, more open space, whereas the wood lends itself to a, a standard spacing of, of wood walls. Now, ha what code sections are allowing us to design a podium structure with the wood above and the concrete below? Um, you'll notice throughout the presentation I have in the upper right-hand corner of the slide some code sections for your reference so you can go back and look these things up yourself. I'm going to try not to read the code to you. Um, but the IBC Chapter 5 does talk about this horizontal building separation, and it allows you to design the two buildings as separate and distinct buildings if you have a three-hour fire rated horizontal separation, and that is our podium slab. Below that, you have to have type 1A construction, and above that, you can have any construction type, but it's limited in occupancy to either assembly, business, mercantile, residential, or storage. Any vertical shaft through that podium level needs to be two hour fire rated. That includes stairs, elevators, mechanical shafts, ramps, escalators, anything like that. The second section that lets us design podium structures is in ASC 7, and that's the two-stage lateral analysis. And that says that you can design a flexible upper portion over a rigid lower portion as long as the following criteria is met. Uh, the stiffness of the lower portion has to be at least 10 times the stiffness of the upper portion. The period of the entire structure has to be less than 1.1 times the period of the upper structure by itself. The, if those are met, you can design the upper, the wood portion, using the appropriate R and row factors. Usually that's an R of 6.5 for wood. Uh, the lower portion is designed using the R and row that's appropriate for the concrete structure, say five for special reinforced concrete shear walls. And then the reactions from the wood portion are applied to the lower portion, to the podium slab, and the seismic forces are amplified by that R over row of the upper over R over, the, R over row of the lower. Of course, that has to be greater than one those forces are applied to the podium level. The upper levels can be analyzed with equivalent lateral force method or modal response. The lower portion is analyzed with equivalent lateral force method. So let's look at those first two requirements a little more closely. The first one, that the stiffness of the lower portion has to be at least 10 times the stiffness of the upper portion. Uh, stiffness, of course, is force over displacement. The way you calculate this can, can use some engineering judgment. You might take just a representative wall of each level of, excuse me, of the wood portion or the, uh, or the concrete portion, 
uh, you might average several walls, but you're using the stiffness of one of the wood walls and the stiffness of one of the concrete walls and comparing those two. Uh, wood, of course, is calculated using the wood shear wall deflection equations, which we'll go over in more detail. And the lower portion, generally you're doing a, a an analysis, you're using analysis software for that design, so you can pull that deflection and forces from that program.